At the Barrett-Jackson display at SEMA 2022, they have two cars on display. One is a Corvette Roadster, and uh, the other here is a 1951 Hudson Wasp that has been resto modded by Kenny's Rod Shop out of Boise, Idaho. It is equipped with a Dodge Viper V10 backed by a six-speed manual transmission, and it has a lot of massaging to the body, the front end, uh, shaved door handles, great big shot wheels, and a custom interior. This vehicle could be yours. It'll be crossing the block at Barrett-Jackson 2023 in Scottsdale this January. Here in the Barrett-Jackson display at SEMA 2022, and I got to talking to the folks here that are uh, giving us all the information on the auctions, and they presented me with this flyer. It's for uh, the Future Collector's Car Show, which will be happening that first weekend of the Barrett-Jackson Collector Car Auction on site at Westworld. And it's for future collectors, young people and younger cars, to get them interested in the hobby. There'll be some awards, and they're expecting about 300 cars to be on display, and it kind of gives an indication of what will the future of the collector car hobby be going forward when the young people today start getting nostalgic for the rides they used to have in high school and college, like us old farts now, wishing for the cars we used to have that are now really expensive, if only. Leading up to SEMA, Roadster Shop had been teasing this build to debut at their booth at SEMA 2022. It is a Buick Grand National that has been resto modded out with a Roadster Shop chassis. Now, Roadster Shop did the build, the paint and the engine work. They had a little help from Avant Garde for the interior and Greening did the one-off Buick Grand National style big 20-inch wheels. The original Grand National power plant of the 3800 turbocharged V6 is long gone. In its place, an LS3 with twin turbos, putting out about 1200 horsepower. I gotta wonder what GN and GNX purists think about an LS swap Grand National. But in my opinion, hey, LS swap the world. Well, if you're a regular follower of the car show life, you know that my heart belongs to Camaro. And there have been some stunning Camaro builds here at SEMA 2022 with the Ring Brothers debut of Strode. This one in particular is kind of close to my heart because it's a 1985 IROC built by Greening Auto. But it is nothing like any 85 IROC that came off the Norwood or Van Nuys assembly line. It's completely customized with a bespoke front end and custom one-off headlights. Carbon fiber all around. It's owned by Terry Curvin of Fayetteville, Georgia. It's got a Don Hardy Race Engines GM 440 LSX backed by a Bowler Performance 4L80E. And the interior is out of this world. The rear end is just as surprising with the center outlet exhaust and the spoiler that has the ditch that matches the roof line. In a car show life, we appreciate a really nice show board, and there it is with the concept drawings and all. Everything is tucked away, clean under the hood, and the scoops of the IROC, while ornamental in the 80s, are completely functional in this build. All this week at SEMA 2022, people have been asking me, hey, have you seen the 57 Chevy at the Vitek booth? And Yes, I have in passing. But I finally took the time here on the last day at SEMA to get a closer look at this magnificent piece of automotive art. This massive banner includes the logos of all the companies that have contributed parts to this build by Kelly and Son. Of course, being hosted in the Fitech booth, a Fitech ECU sits atop the supercharged LSX V8. It rides on a Roadster Shop chassis with bare brakes providing the stopping power. A Silver Sport transmission stirs the gears and Magnaflow helps channel the exhaust out the back. Just a few of the many manufacturers who are a part of this custom 1957 Chevy. And that's going to do it for this edition of Car Show Life. For more of our SEMA 2022 coverage, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Car Show Life, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Car Show Life, back in, hood up.